Right. Well, welcome to Spiritual Conversations. Today's topic is how important is forgiveness? And thanks to those who have joined. We've just taken a little while to enjoy ourselves and we've got a special guest with us today. It happens to be Bronwyn Clee's mum. Her name is Carol with an E. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And Bronwyn and Carol are in Yapoon, I believe, at the moment. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. With an so, ocean view. <laughs> with an ocean view. How beautiful. Wonderful. And I'm in Darwin. And, ah, we've got all Aussies. And we've got Vin from Adelaide. And Susie, I just learned you're a Kira. I, yeah, I live, I live on the border. I actually, my house is in Tweed Heads and when I go out the gate, I'm at Kira. And this <laughs> morning I walked at Kira Beach and swam at Kira Beach, yeah. Oh, it, it must be just so difficult, I think, when it comes daylight saving because it's coming into that next week, I believe. Uh, yeah, well, we've been here now for 10 years and we stay on... Um, we say on Queensland time because otherwise it just gets too difficult. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. No, it is, it's we're about to hit seven months of whatever it is of craziness, but yeah. there's not much you can do about it. Yeah. 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 Just after a while you get used to it and you make sure you miss a few appointments, whether you go New South Wales or Queensland. So we tried New South Wales last year and um, we missed lots of appointments, so we went back to being uh, Queenslanders again. Wow. And they're and they're trying to convince South Australians that they should join the Sydney time, and it's like, well, if you guys can't even get the East Coast sorted out, why why are you trying to drag us over there? Are oh, you joking? Really? No, I'm serious. Yeah. Right, but, wanna... you know, only, but you guys are only um, half an hour behind, right? Okay, yep. so now for you it's ten past twelve, and for me it's twenty to one. That's right. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so, so that will all change next week and I'm I'm going to be adjusting these times a little simply because I'll be in New South Wales next week. So we'll talk about that at the end. <laughs> um, and, okay, so how important is forgiveness? Okay, so let's kick off. I'm always interested to hear people's first responses to the, to a question that I pose. And let's start uh, with Ben. Start, if you like. Oh, ben, ah. ben, right. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> I'll well, go. We'll, we'll pick Ben. You go, Ben. All right. Um, I'd like to start with a story by Goenkaji. It's a small story. Goenkaji, for those who don't know, is, um, was the guy who's really responsible for bringing Vipassana meditation to the West. And he has a story about forgiveness, about two two neighbours uh, fighting over an issue of offence, and um, and and one of the, the the guys takes an issue with this fence and says it's it's not in the right spot. It needs to be moved slightly, you know, because um, my property is being encroached upon by this fence. And he took it to court, and he lost the battle in court. And years passed, and uh, he he took it to a higher court, and. Eventually, the high court said, yeah, you're right, but there's no monetary re recompensation or anything. But he just thought, oh, right, that's it. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm justified uh, in, in this aggravation I've had. But he carried it around for years, and it was like all, all it took was for someone, a judge, to say, yeah, okay, you, you, you've, you've got something here, you're right. Um, it's, and, and then he was able to let it go. But, you know, he didn't actually, he could have just done that right on the first day, but he dragged around this resentment or animosity towards his neighbor. Uh, his neighbor just got on with his life and thought nothing about it, you know. And um, it was the guy that was was uh, not forgiving that was the one that was harmed out of it. So, you know, we, if we hold on to these things without forgiveness, you know, by avoiding forgiveness, then, then we're really hurting ourselves. I have a lot more to say, but I'll just leave it at that. Just that story as an introduction. Yeah, thanks, Ben. I, I can pick up on that before we hear from the others. It, it reminds me of the analogy of carrying some books 
for a long period of time or for any point of time. And so if we, we hold our hands out and we have a book in each hand, we can carry it for a few seconds, a few minutes, no problem at all. And what happens once we've carry, we're carrying it for a few hours and then a day and then a week and then, you know, can we still hold these heavy books in, in the same way? Uh, what actually happens to our body? It, it actually, you know, we physically don't have the capacity to keep that same level and so there's a, there's a drain at, at some level uh, for the, the longer, the, the more drain is equivalent to the, the period of time that we've held the books. So, yeah, that, I, I love the story that you shared about that. So going round the room then, let's go to Susie. Um, I just, um, I'm reading, I'm just finishing reading Wayne Dyer's autobiography at the moment and when you and uh, that story his story of forgiveness that he had to give to his father um it's just i mean has been so powerful um and how much that changed his life and it's sort of it's been reminding me of um just how important forgiveness is um every day and I'm reminded of it really uh, consistently at the moment because I'm doing a course in miracles, uh -huh. and I yeah I'm yeah, so every morning at the oh, moment wow. with the section that I'm in there is the stressing so much the importance of 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 forgiving of forgiving yourself as well as forgiving others, and I think sometimes um, forgiving yourself is often the hardest one to do um, I don't know whether other people find that but I think of some of the um, mistakes that I've made in my life um, that maybe I've tried to initially blame on to somebody else um, that I realize now I had a choice and I made I made um, the choice to walk that path instead of maybe that one um, that one might have given me a lot less grief, uh, but they're all, it's all learning and lessons and things as well. And I think also um, when we, I suppose it's, I, I don't know, what just came up for me then was prayer. The importance of prayer when we have people, um, people to forgive as well as to be able to forgive ourselves. And, um, it's not always, it's not easy but the more fi the more we forgive the closer we move into um, the true essence of who we are I believe I do too Susie and I'm going to beautifully pick up there because the oh the, great the thread that you I feel like you just passed on to me is the is the thread of um, self forgiveness and having mm. it, it is a real honour for me to have my mama mm. sitting here with me as mm. a part of the conversation because we've done a lot of work on um, on forgiveness as a healing tool, but what I what I learned in the in the midst of some great great um, personal pain was the the work that I had done on forgiving others. And I'm sorry for the noise, but I have to have the earphones out so that Mama can hear the conversation. Yeah. Um, um, but the work that I had to do on forgiving myself, I realised, and it was only through coming across Colin Tipping's work. I don't know if you're all familiar with his work on radical no. forgiveness oh it was a game for me colin tipping radical forgiveness beautiful beautiful man who's actually agreed to write a forward for my book by the way which i feel very honored and privileged at mm -hmm. um, but but the the power of of what i learned in the, in the radical forgiveness was that that without doing the work on forgiving myself because i felt like i'd uh, it's probably not really nice to admit but i did feel a bit magnanimous you know, in forgiving other people for all of their, yes. for the hurt. They're, I, oh, still, I understand that, yes. I felt mm. like there was this real sense of, in, deep down, <coughs> I didn't want to really consciously admit it, but there was a sense of, oh, that was very good of me, wasn't it? And it, it, was, it was a big thing to do, 
Mm. However, um, it didn't get me closer to feeling the healing that I was after. So it was in, in the, the radical forgiveness work where I actually learned that until I forgave myself for all of the self-loathing and self-disgust and not trusting myself, until I did that work, I couldn't actually go any further. So, Mark, the question of how important is forgiveness, forgiveness for me was the turning point that allowed me to start to do some real deep healing that then gave me the mm. pathway through Mama the pathway okay. up to gratitude to get out of the real deep pain, if that makes sense. So the, I felt like forgiveness was the, the self-forgiveness was, was the biggest door opener that I had to work on that before I could then get into a state of thinking about gratitude. Mm. Yeah, I can relate to mm. that very much yeah. because it wasn't until I got to a state of forgiveness myself that I was able to begin to heal and that's not just emotionally heal but physically heal as well. It seemed to be all tied in together. And forgiveness for me, how important is forgiveness? The importance is the level of healing that we can attain so it's absolutely critical because forgiveness is the antidote to guilt. Yes. And, yes. And so for all the guilts that we have about ourselves, yeah. whatever we've said or done at any point in our lives, if we continue to retain any level of guilt, we are actually asking in a way for punishment. Guilt asks for punishment. It, it seeks punishment. Okay. And what I find with a lot of people I work with is that in the absence of anybody else punishing them, they'll punish themselves. Yeah. And or you'll get sick or yeah, something. Self-sabotage comes in. Mm. You will not be able to move forward to achieve your goals for as long as you feel guilty and with guilt there is the punishment and, and the undeserving at mm. a lower level, deeper levels, then, you know, consciously we express our goals. Yes, I do want to achieve my goal. I do want to be taught, trim and terrific. <laughs> terrific. <laughs> terrific. Terrific. <laughs> Whatever your goal is. is. Yeah. But if but if a feeling a feeling of guilt, guilt, it's almost impossible. It's almost impossible. Oh, oh. Yeah. I'm getting some feedback. Getting there. some feedback there. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get some headphones if it's me. I'm not sure if it is. I don't usually get feedback. Uh, I've got headphones in, and Vince yeah, I'm got curious if anyone in. can hear me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, good. can he? Yeah. Um, oh. I was just yeah. saying that I think if Bronwyn mutes herself while she's not speaking, that'll stop the sound coming back through her mic. Yeah. How about now? Yes, yeah, so we can't So when Marg speaks, everything's okay now? I can okay still now? hear the background somewhere. I'm not getting any feedback now. Yeah. No. Um, it's quite okay. I can't hear any feedback. No. Were, you, okay. were, were you were saying something, Margaret? Um, well, I think I'd come to the end and then I address the feedback, but I'm just looking mm. at Regeneration's um, comment. If we don't forgive, we're essentially keeping the burden you're wanting to get rid of. That's exactly yes. true. Mm. Uh, However, just... don't... yeah, go on. No, I was just going to compare it to the, um, you know, in Buddhism they have the four noble truths. The first yeah. noble truth is all all uh, suff um, all life is suffering. Uh, second, the second noble truth though is all suffering is caused by clinging and aversion. Um, and so this cl clinging, this hanging on to, um, uh, you know, this this feeling of resentment or, or hatred or whatever it is uh, that we're not forgiving the other person for that's done, uh, you know, done something wrong to us. 
um, by clinging on to this, this emotion. It's, it's again, back to the guy with, with the fence dispute. He hung on that for ages and finally just let go of it only when the judge said he could let go of it. But he, he caused all of that suffering to himself for nothing. But, you know, we often talk about, or you often hear the word forget mentioned in combination with forgiveness. Forget. Yeah, and, and I think... Yeah, forgive and... And I think forgetting is actually a cop out. Um, to forget means you haven't looked at it. You haven't um, you haven't forgiven. You know, you've just dismissed it and forgotten about it and tried to just move on without actually addressing the problem. So, and I think and I think forgetting is only one side of the problem, whereas forgiveness involves two people, both parties. So, you know, forgiveness, while we talk about, well, we have, so far we've been talking about how it benefits ourselves to forgive others, but it also obviously, you know, frees up the, any problem, uh, any ill feelings that they have once you've forgiven them, of course, because, you know, it is about forgiving that person and, and making them feel that they've been forgiven, whereas forgetting is just, is just yourself. It's just, just, well, I've chosen to forget that and, and they've still not been forgiven. I have... I don't. I was just. I, can I just come in there? I just think sometimes um, the forgiveness that that goes on. Sometimes we have to forgive people without them even knowing about it, um, because it's something that maybe happened, um, and sometimes those people or the person involved doesn't even know that what they've done, what they think they've done has had any effect on you as well so it's um yep i think and, and that's the thing of forgiving after um i suppose the wayne dyer thing of forgiving that forgiveness that went on for him at that cemetery in um Balixo or wherever it was in that is um i think i was brought to tears just reading it it was just and how that had affected his life but there was no way that um, the other person necessarily knew unless he, you know, that was transpired. So I don't think it's always um, a person-to-person -person thing, which is why I think it's a lot of what comes from within here. Yeah, I wasn't saying that forgiveness has to always involve two people. I'm just saying that forgetting, oh, forgetting right. doesn't have to. Uh, whereas forgiveness uh, often does involve a, another person, but it doesn't have to, of course, as you say, you can forgive someone mm -hmm. eternally without them ever knowing. I just want yeah, to say, sorry, I was just going to say, it is all, it is all you, isn't it? It's all you, and it's you're carrying around this baggage, and it's up to you to get rid of it. Yeah, it's your, it's the baggage that we carry around that um, causes um, causes illness, um, you know, causes distress. Uh, it's, you know, it's, um, I was really interested in um, Bronwyn and Margaret saying that they really had to forgive to get to the, that level of um, of gratitude. Can I say, and, uh, um, Vin, I, I, yeah. sorry, Susie, I just wanted to pick up on what Vin was saying about forgiving and forgetting. For me, the concept of forgive and forget is about, is, completely connected to do the forgiveness of self and others and then move like keep moving forward let it go it's it's not the forget it and it's all going to go away because that never works mm -hmm. trying to no. simply compartmentalize and forget like god geez if it was that easy we'd, there'd be a lot less of us walking around carrying out you know our, our old he unhealed wounds um so i think that that it's important for us to remember that the i think in context of when that um phrase was coined it would have been more closely connected to forgive you know find the compassion to forgive self and others and release it and let it go keep moving forward that's where i think the forgetting part of it has a lot of power <clears throat> um, mm. and I, I do think that the, the the key really to forgiveness is it's it's a it's a dual sword and i say sword as a as a beautiful powerful tool it has to be it has to be about self-forgiveness and forgiveness of others, but the forgiveness of others without an expectation too, because that's another trap that I've seen and, and, and experienced personally, but I've witnessed it also professionally with clients. I forgave that guy and look at what he did to me. Or I forgave that person for what yeah. they did to me. Yeah. You know, so there's, there's, there's some layers to this. 
And Kathleen, thank you. I'm so so delighted that you're happy to see my mama. This is where the camera is. At. Um, <laughs> Kathleen's on the side. She's just giving you lots of big love hearts, saying, "I love you. I love you. I love you." I love um, Kathleen's. Kathleen's pop, uh, popped in a comment there that is is not from herself, but it's like a common saying that says, um, "Carrying around um, or un unforgiving." not forgiving someone is like uh, drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. Yeah. You know, it's, it's mm. that resentment. It's only going to hurt yourself. It's, it's, I guess it's the same as hatred. If you're hating someone, it's, it's not really doing anything to them. It's just doing something to you. I have often heard, this, uh, I've heard it said from people almost with a, I believe a tone of bitterness in their voice. You can forgive, but you can't forget. Yeah. Yeah. And I immediately think when I hear that. That they haven't forgiven. That's, yeah, no, there is no forgiveness. Yeah. 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 So it's like I can forgive. Yes, I can say the words that you're forgiven, um, but mm. I can't forget. It's almost like I can't forget the, in, mm. the pain that you have inflicted on me. So that means that the pain is still alive. Bang. And still got some in intensity in it, mm. and that's what they mean, I believe, when they say you can't forget. It's you know, it's not a problem with the memory. <laughs> but what does it mean then, or what do they? What do you think they mean when they say I have forgiven you, but I'm not forgetting it? I mean, obviously they're resenting you still. So, oh, yeah. so you know what? And we when we we're sitting here saying, well, obviously you haven't forgiven them, but they feel as though they have done something. Well, I wonder what, I it, what it is. It, it's a sense of being noble. It, it's noble to forgive. It's the right thing to forgive. We all know that we're better people, you know, I believe, that that's common, you know, knowledge, yeah. that people do believe that they are better people because it's Because right? it's what? That, um, that if you forgive, you're a better person. And um, so I think that people will want to see themselves as that better person. I'm the better person because I can forgive. However, I won't forget it. I'm a very, uh, sorry, go on. Is it only a verbal, for some people saying I forgive is like it's only a verbalisation. They've said it. Yeah. Makes them feel good on the outside, but inside, yeah. it's turning about. I won't. Mm. Yeah. So it it has to come from. It has to come. The you have to have the emotion of forgiveness, and I don't think we ever talk about the emotion of forgiving. Um, that if we actually. Sorry, Bromwell? Some people it's too difficult to talk about the emotion of forgiveness mm. because they haven't, and I say this from having lived in that, to talk about mm. the emotion of forgiveness means that we have to be prepared to go into the depths of it and to connect with yeah. That's That's yeah. one of the greatest challenges. That That's what, what my, why, Marg, in that my e-book about conversations with my qualities, the biggest chapter is on forgiveness. Yeah, yeah, mm. because it's a tricky one. It, it ties up the whole experience where I have been violated to some degree and that causes me a lot of hurt and a lot of grief. And so I actually need to expose that to myself, to really pull that out of myself in order to be able mm. to heal all of the aspects and one of the aspects if i've been violated one of the aspects is the ability to forgive and if we're talking about some really serious situations which which happen like you know violence severe violence like sexual mm -hmm. abuse or worse it it can be hard you know i i have i've had someone say to me this week that action is unforgivable so mm. that's my next question to you. Are there actions that are unforgivable? I would think that most of us could come up with some, but yep. you know, I don't I, I don't think they're truly 
unforgivable. I think everything can be forgiven, but I think some things are almost impossible to forgive, and that, I think that would vary between each person. But um, I, I, I would love to know what are um, positive, effective uh, processes, mechanisms, methods that we can apply to help us forgive others because I find it difficult. When I've been hard done by, I'll drag it around for years. I've got stuff I still haven't forgiven pe people for. I'm, tr I'm trying. I mean, I know, I know that I should and it's hard though. So, it's, it's, yeah, it's, if there's... Uh, and, and the answers. Well, I, I'm, no, I don't think I've got all the answers. I'm happy to speak from experience of what worked for me. Yep, that's um, great. Yeah, having lived four and a half decades of not feeling like I had forgiven people who had created a lot of hurt and harm in my life, you know, and I'm sitting next to the most beautiful woman on the planet, my gorgeous mother, who's helped me move through a lot of this stuff. Um, the, the the first one, the, the really most important strategy I found most confronted with too, Vincent, was learning self-love. Yeah, I was going to say that. That was like a big slap. And, you know, honestly, having mm. grown up with mum always saying, you know, if you can't love yourself, it's difficult for anyone else to love you. I heard mm. it, I knew it, but I hadn't embodied it because of some really shitty life experiences. So in learning, mm. for me, in, in, in coming to that point of knowing that I had to work through the pain, I had to be prepared to forgive because it was the only way that I could release it, self-love, prayer, gratitude, EFT mm. and ho'oponopono. There you go, five top tips. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and can I add something else in? I'm, I'm with Bronwyn there because, um, as some of you know, I had a near-death experience four years ago and my message that I got, and I've just been writing about it this morning, that's why it's really current, was sitting in a dialysis chair asking what is it all about and I was told, Susie, it's all about love. When you embrace yeah. the love. Now, you know, I'm in my 60s. You know, I was in my 50s or, yeah, 60s then, you know. I've done so much personal development work. But I also use EFT. I use Hopopono Ono. Okay. I use uh, Oracle cards every day. I'm, I'm doing A Course in Miracles. And the other thing that's really helped me forgive, um, and I learned this about, this is where I probably started on a, the forgiveness path was meeting Brandon Bays and um, doing the journey work where the whole process that you go through is about forgiveness. And um, Des and I have both assisted, been very involved with them for a long time. And one of the processes there is where people who've been abused, so many people have so much experience where they, they have to forgive but forgive, but you don't actually, which answers Vince's question, how do you deal with the forgiveness um, of somebody that's abused you or whatever else? So it's working through that process inside where you actually forgive somebody, but you do not condone their behaviour. Yeah. So it's taking the forgiveness away from the behaviour. And I have seen so many, I mean, I have just, I've experienced it myself when I first did it but I've assisted on so many journeys where I have seen the most, eight from 20-year-olds up to 80-year-olds, lives transformed through um, the journey healing process. Just been amazing. Yeah. Um, oh, I've lost my train of thought there. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it was something you said, but I was, yeah. I started Can I just say generation LBC? Thank yeah. you so much because this is this is a phenomenal opportunity and serendipity. Uh, 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 Mark, we couldn't have orchestrated this any yeah, any no. better. Yeah. My mum's first first go at Blab today. <laughs> we were on one for a few brief moments before this one, but this has just been absolute gold for her to get a chance to experience the kind of conversations that I feel so connected to and to meet some of the most beautiful people in my life. So thank you. I just wanted to say that. Yeah. Can I just say something? Yeah. I, just want to, yes. I just want to say a big thank you to Bronwyn for introducing me to Marg <laughs> quite some years ago in Darwin and I did an EFT course with her. And Marg, 
I tell you that is a blessing. <laughs> and the high pono pono. But you know, you would all be many, many years younger than me. And it is so wonderful to see you just so enthusiastic and genuinely interested in the world being a better place and caring about forgiveness and hurt and suffering. And it's never ending. It's never ending. That's why I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, um, in the Bible there is a, a, a quote that says, Father, how many times do I need to forgive? Yes. And he says 70 times 70 times 70 which is never ending. But no matter what yeah, strategy you right. come up with, you're never going to be too old to learn. Yeah. And trial, which one works for you? But, yeah. oh, boy, oh, boy, EFT and Hypono Pono. Yeah. Have saved mm. me. I have white hair. It's so awesome. I think tapping and... Uh, her opponent partner together are uh, just so powerful. Yes. And I'd use it every yes. day. Yes. Me, yeah. me too. Well, mm. the EFT I use every day. Um, can, sorry, Bronwyn or someone, can you please explain to everyone who doesn't know what Ho'oponopono is? Just a brief oh, summary. Ho'oponopono is an ancient Hawaiian forgiveness um, strategy. There's, there's, there's layers and layers and layers to it. But the easiest way to explain it is to think of it as mm. a um, as a forgiveness chant. There are four main lines to Ho'oponopono mm. um, and the four key statements are I love you, I thank you, I'm sorry, I forgive you or please forgive me. So the, la the forgiveness statement is interchangeable. So shall we have a crack at saying it all together? <laughs> well, I, yeah, I'm just going to say I always say um, I was taught from someone, I'm sorry, um, please forgive me, I love you, thank you. Okay. That was the that was the way I was learnt. Um, and yeah, because I yeah, I get picked up when I don't say it properly. So okay. this is my do we all want to say that together? Yeah, why not? Oh, so mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Vince is just put there it is there. always How something more to forgive either within ourselves or, mm. or with other people. Mm. But, of course, it's all about the hurt we're feeling within ourselves. Sorry, I got it wrong. I doubled up the lines. What, what is it? No, mean? that's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive, Please me. forgive me. I love, I love you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Last one thank is you. thank you. Okay. So, and for any, I use that every day when I'm going to sleep as well if I can't sleep. Roman. Mm. Roman's Roman, got a hand up. She's been a good girl. We, we can thank listen you, to her. Lambert, thank, thank you. Is she, is she going now? No, she's going to let me have a turn to speak. All right, then we're going to do it. Um, <laughs> at, the, at, the, at the risk of um, being a co-conspirator and in, in wanting to co-create goodness in the world, Mark, mm. I wonder I wonder if you might like to invite us all to think about something that we might like to do some healing work on by using Ho'oponopono. Alternatively, yeah. if that's a bit too risky, might we think about sending out Hyponopono to our beautiful planet? Yeah, yeah. Or okay. well, we could send it to Oregon today. I mind them. So it's it's all it's all going to be individual if we choose. Well, whatever we choose, we know the hurts that are still remaining within us, and if we can't get in touch with any of those hurts right now. A, a wonderful suggestion, Bron, to just say it for the forgiveness of the world and humanity, to, to share the forgiveness and the love beyond ourselves. So, okay, we've we've got it. It's, uh, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Okay, so after three, one, two, three. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Forgive Please me. forgive me. I love, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. So one more time, just get, in, just get in tune with what your particular hurt is or if you're offering it for the hurt of the world. So just a couple of seconds to tune in. Okay. 
So after three, one, two, three. I'm, I'm sorry. 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 Please, Please forgive, forgive me. Forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Now, now, now Mordor suggests next time we sing it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I love you and I thank you. Thank you. To the tune of Happy Birthday, which is now, which is now copyright. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah. there's Kathleen. another suggestion for using um, the Hopo Ono Pono. Hopo Ono Pono. There's a few too many Onos. <laughs> yeah. But I think it would be good to actually do a tapping for forgiveness, a little yeah. tapping yeah. as well. Before we do that, yeah, breaking it up into syllables is what I mean, Susie. <laughs> oh, okay. No, you've done Let's it. What... Yeah, that's pretty good. So, yeah, before we do that, in answer to Vin's question, how can we forgive? Because it does get tricky when we are deeply hurt. And yeah. I think simply starting with intention is the place of start. So we've got these techniques and strategies which are great and which I use. However, I think the first place is the intention, meaning I want to forgive that person. I choose to forgive that person. Even if you don't feel it, the feelings can come later because we all know that healing takes place. If you have a physical wound, just by getting the treatment doesn't mean the wound is healed. So we have to wait for the healing time. But if the treatment is applied, if we have that intention to heal, to me, that's the launching pad. So I choose to forgive. And I think don't worry if the feelings aren't matching the words at the moment, because it might take time. If, particularly if the hurt is deep and then that hurt may need some some particular healing work like with professional um ther professional therapist perhaps if if it's big stuff i don't suggest that you know saying you know i love you i forgive you thank you uh, and, and doing a bit of tapping might be able to address some of the heavy duty stuff in people's lives without having somebody assist you and navigate that terrain, which might hold some deep hurt. Um, however, the first point is the intention of I choose to forgive. Mm. So following that, then I think, yeah, we do engage in the techniques and we're doing everything. Our actions now are matching our intention, which strengthens the intention. So if we use EFT, I, we'll, we'll do a, a round to say, um, in, in the way we applied it before, that we can tap into, sorry about the pun, it always comes up, um, tuning does. into a deep hurt that we still have and something that we choose to forgive. Um, or we can offer it for the healing of the world. So whatever you choose, get that established in your mind right now and follow me. And say, even though I still have some resentment, even though I still have some resentment about this condition. About this person. Yeah. Or this situation. This situation. I deeply 
and completely love and accept myself. I deeply, I deeply and, and completely, completely love and, and accept myself. Even though I still have some resentment. Even though, even though, even though I still have, have some resentment. Perhaps some anger and guilt. Perhaps, perhaps, some, anger perhaps some anger and guilt. I choose. I choose. I choose. Forgiveness. 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 Forgive me. Over resentment, anger, and hurt. Over, over, over resentment, anger, anger, and resentment anger, and hurt. And I love and accept myself. And I love and, and, love and, I, love and, and I accept myself. Even though I still have some hurt remaining. Even though I still, even have, even though I still have some hurt remaining. About this situation. About, about this situation. About this situation. I love and accept myself. I love and accept I love myself. And, accept and I'm myself. open to forgiveness. And I'm, and, open. and I'm open to forgiveness. I'm open to forgiving that other person. I'm open to forgiving, open that, other to forgiving that other person. And I'm open to forgiving myself. And I'm, and I'm open. open. And I'm open forgiving to myself. forgiving myself for whatever contribution. For whatever, whatever contribution, contribution I may have made, I may have made, I may have made, or may be continuing to make, or may be continuing to make, or may be continuing to this situation, this situation, and to the challenge I have about the forgiveness, and, and, and to the challenge, and the challenge I, have I have about, about the forgiveness. forgiveness. Okay, tap on top of the head. <clears throat> and just say I'm sorry. Uh, okay, yeah, good one. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I please, please forgive, forgive me. me. I, please forgive me. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I choose forgiveness. I choose forgiveness. I choose forgiveness. Over resentment and hurt. Over resentment and hurt. Over resentment and hurt. After all. After all. After all. I'm the one wearing it. I'm the one wearing it. <laughs> I'm the one wearing it. And nobody else is. Nobody else. And nobody else is. If they are. If they, if they are, are. If they it's are. It's their business. It's their That's business. Their that's their business. And I can only work on my business. And I can, I can only work on my business. And I can only work on my business. I choose forgiveness. I choose forgiveness. I choose forgiveness. And take a deep breath. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I'm. Uh, I think that's a lovely note for us to finish on today. Huh? Leaving everyone with some real techniques to go about forgiveness and addressing some hurts within themselves. And I mm. love Jean Bedley's yeah. comment: "Forgiveness mm. without authentic and unconditional love." Is like a filament without a light bulb. <laughs> that is beautiful. Thank you for that. And thank you for everyone for sharing all of your insights and wisdom. Um, I Oh, I had a little quote that I was going to pop in sometime from, from Gandhi. Forgiveness is the attribute of the strong. So it actually takes yes. strength and courage which has been raised before it takes a lot of courage to enter into that zone of forgiveness even if we don't feel it and and to me that's the most courageous in anything we do we turn up anyway despite the fears or the awkward feelings or the discomfort we have we turn up to the place that we want to be in and if forgiveness is a place that we want to be in, 
we need to turn up through our intention to say, I choose forgiveness. So thank you all so much. And it was just so beautiful to have Carol join us. <laughs> I love you, Mark. Yes. <laughs> and thank you. It's wonderful to meet you. <laughs> and thank you. Lovely meeting everyone. you all. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks so everyone who joined or who will be watching the replay, I hope that you get a lot out of this one. I think this is quite foundational to how we come to grow our self-love. And the replay will be available via my webpage and YouTube. So thanks all so much uh, from Darwin. I'll say goodbye. Next week's spiritual conversation, we're going to be talking about what is truth. And the time might vary just slightly, but that will be announced in the setup time. So I'd love to have you all join in next week. We'll be back next week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.